I appreciate being given the chance to make this presentation. An unexpected catastrophe is a disaster. A disaster is that one kill or injures many people in a short amount of time. Factors including earthquakes, tsunamis, and volcanic eruptions have all had a role in triggering disasters. Over the years, the world endured disaster after disaster that affected thousands of lives through loss of ch shelter, job, or even loved ones. At 7.69 a.m. local time on December 26, 2004, a 9.1 magnitude undersea earthquake struck Sumatra. The quake triggered a tsunami that devastated coastal areas as far away as East Africa over the next seven hours. Some shorelines reported was over 30 feet high. The tsunami devastated Indonesia, Sri Lanka, India, Maldives, and Thailand, killing at least 225,000 people. Indonesian official statement that the death toll in Aceh, northern Sumatra, alone exceeded 200,000. Sri Lanka and India reported 10,000 dead or missing many from Adanman and Nicol Nicobar Islands. Indonesia received over 7 billion in aid after the tsunami. This was the most generous natural disaster of financial aid any country had ever received. Coral reefs were particularly affected by the tsunami. The tsunami silted and sanded 15 to 20% of coral reefs. The tsunami backwash carried debris from inland areas that damaged coral lips. Tsunamis that destroyed homes, food, and clothing. Tsunami victims lost jobs and were injured. Many lost happiness in the tsunami. Tourism would suffer long-term due to tsunami fear. In the wake of an encounter, disaster preparation in Sumatra has improved. And statue authorizing telecommunication service provides providers to issue pre-mobile alerts in the case of natural and man-made disaster and calamities. Republic Act No. 10821 should be put into effect to warn people of upcoming disaster and calamities and save lives. Sumatra has implemented frequent evacuation drills, planted trees along the coast, and constructed vertical evacuation facilities to the highest standards. The eruption of Tambora in Indonesia in 1815 killed the most people. It was a huge eruption that sent ash into stratosphere that spread around the world. The volcanic winter also caused crop failures, food shortages, flooding for most North America, Western Europe, and part of the Asia. The death toll of 1815 event was 11,000 from pyroclastic flows and more than 100,000 from the resulting food storages over the following decade. About two weeks after the eruption, a British officer sent the liver rice to the island of Sumbawa, made an inspection of the island. He reported seeing numerous corpses and widespread destruction. Local inhabitants were becoming ill and Benny had already died of hunger. Volcanic eruption can result in complete destruction of ecosystem, ecosystem close to the volcano. Volcanic ash falls vary in their effects from total burial of ecosystem in negligible depending on their depth. They realized that open lines of communication and community-based information could greatly aid in warning those in danger and taking corrective measures quickly. Republic Act Number 766, an act to safeguard life and property against volcanic eruption and dangers by creating a commission of volcanology and providing relief for the big victims of such calamity and for other purposes is an act we should implement to safeguard life and property against volcanic eruptions and dangers. And we must be prepared to shelter or evacuate, and the government must be able to make announcements ahead of time to prevent civilian de deaths. On January 23, 1556, a powerful earthquake struck northern China's Shaanxi province, Wazhou district in Ming Dynasty, China. The devastation and loss of lives 
life across hundreds of miles was tremendous. Shansky and neighboring Shansky province were hit by magnitude 8 earthquake early on t January 23, 1556, killing or wounding 830,000 people. This high death toll is thought, thought to have reduced the two province population by 60%. Despite the fact that the quake lasted only seconds, it leveled mountains, changed the course of rivers, caused massive flooding, and sparked fires that burned for days. The main conclusion is always have a plan in place in case of unexpected circumstances or catastrophic events. The National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Plan must be institutionalized as man mandate by Republic Act number of 10121, also known as an act straightening the Philippine Disaster Risk Reduction and Management System, providing the National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Framework and appropriating funds, therefore, and for the other purposes. Rebuilding safer and stronger structure is a government responsibility that can help mitigate mitigate the effects of natural catastrophe.